I might not be in when you get home, Pat. Nisha's is organising the Recycling Week Jumble Sale and I said I'd help. OK, love. Are you doing the food stall, Mum? Yes, Julian. I'm making chocolate cake, lemon cake, strawberry gattos and your favourites, flapjacks. Oh, great! They're fine-looking geraniums, Sarah. Yes, Dorothy Thompson gave them to me. But I can't find anywhere to put them. PC Selby's got his geraniums in window boxes. What a good idea. <clears throat> uh, well, I'd better be off then. Perhaps you could make me some, Pat. Uh, well, yes, maybe later. Uh, have you finished with your newspaper, Dad? No. Oh, Dad, it's recycling week. I need it. I uh, know, but I've not read it yet. Come on, Jess. Yeah. These are all to go to the station, Pat. I'll make it my first call, Mrs Goggins. <laughs> Be careful with this one, Pat. Oh, it's the little apple tree that the school children sent off for. <laughs> They're working so hard on their wee school garden. I'll get a chance to see it when I drop the tree off. Come on, Jess. Time for work. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> Have a good day, Jess. Bye, Pat. There you are, Jess. <laughs> You're spoiling him, Nisha. <laughs> Are you all right, Ajay? <laughs> oh, I, I'm fine, Pat. <laughs> then you'll be able to pop these onto the Pencaster train. <laughs> I can manage that, Pat. <laughs> oh, Pat, a, a few people in the village have got things for my Recycling Week jumble sale. Would you be able to pick them up on your post route? Uh, Dr. Gilbertson, the Reverend Timms, and Dorothy Thompson. Uh, no problem, Nisha. Shall I bring everything back here? Yes, please, Pat. I'll take everything down to the village green tomorrow. You can have these old toolboxes for your jumble sale, Nisha. <laughs> I'm fed up with tripping over them. Come on, Jess. Let's see what Julian's up to. Everyone. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi Dad. Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jess. Look at the wildflowers we planted, Dad. They're grand, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jess likes them too. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something that'll make your school garden even better, Mr. Pringle. Brilliant! The trees are out. Oh, it's fantastic. Can I plant it, Mr. Pringle? Well, Julian and Mira have already dug a hole. I think they should plant it. Oh, oh thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Pringle. Pringle. Just think, in 20 years' time, our little tree will be taller than Mr. Pringle. Hope it grows loads of apples. Nisha said you had something for me to pick up, Jeff. Why, aye, come with me. A cuckoo clock. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't tell the time anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. It's not a real bird. Shoo! Go on! 
morning, Pat. Good morning, Alf. Oh, dear, Dorothy, the crows have certainly taken a fancy to your lettuces. Oh, I know. Greedy things. They're eating them before we can even pick them. This scarecrow should keep them away. I think I spoke too soon. Thanks, Pat. Nisha said you'd got something for her jumble sale, Dorothy. Oh, that's right, Pat. It's me old sewing machine. I hope it won't be too big for your van. Oh. Oh. Ah, there. Oh. That's done it. Shoo! Clear off. Go on. <laughs> Good luck with those greedy crows, Dorothy. Oh, thanks, Pat. I'll need it. Oh, what a racket. Oh, I didn't know you could play the violin, Reverend. Not very well, I'm afraid. I've had this old violin in the attic for years, Pat. I thought I'd better give it to the jumble sale. <sighs> Are you sure you want to give it away, Reverend? Well, what the Lord giveth, the Lord also taketh away. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Here's your post. Oh, thank you, Pat. You're just in time for coffee and biscuits. Ooh, lovely. Meow! Meow! How did that happen? Oh, dear. It's this old table. It's full of woodworm. <laughs> You'd better throw it out before the legs drop off. Hmm, pity. I've always liked it. It looks so lovely in the garden. I'm sure you'll find something to replace it, Dr. Gilbertson. My goodness, Pat! I never expected such wonderful things! Reverend Timms wasn't too happy about saying goodbye to his violin. Oh dear. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll be fine. I hope so. See you tomorrow, Pat. Bye, Nisha. Um, have you seen the evening newspaper, Julian? Mm, uh, uh, sorry, Dad. I needed it for my money boxes. How on earth are you going to make that into money boxes? Wait and see, Dad. Wow. Look at our money boxes, Dad. My word, Julian. They're grand. Oh, thank you, children. Oh, that's a funny-looking sewing machine, Mom. It's very old, Mira. Look. You can lower the sewing machine like this. Then lift the lid and, hey, presto, you have a table. Well, I never knew that was a table. Those four wooden toolboxes, Nisha. <laughs> what do you want toolboxes for, Sarah? <laughs> A surprise for Pat. Huh? Yeah, so my mum couldn't come. She's got a sore throat from shouting at the crows. Ah, oh, poor Dorothy. <laughs> Hmm, that gives me an idea. I think I'll buy that cuckoo clock, Nisha. It, it, it doesn't tell the time, Pat. I know, Charlie. I was thinking of using it for something completely different. Mm. 
Misha, would you think it most selfish if I bought my violin back? Of course not, Reverend. What the Lord has joined together, let no one put asunder. Did you get a new table, Dr. Gilbertson? No, I've not had time, Pat. <laughs> then look no further. <gasps> it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, Pat, you're a genius. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <coughs> oh, what a busy afternoon, Pat. I sold out of everything. What are you going to do with these old toolboxes, Sarah? Wait and see. Mum! Mum! Please, can I play with Mira? Adjay will bring me home later on. All right, Julian. Have fun. I can't imagine why you bought that broken clock, Pat. <laughs> I know somebody in Greendale who urgently needs it. <coughs> Show! Show! Oh, go on! Show! Show! Hello, Dorothy. I've brought you something that might help. Oh, yes. <coughs> Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, Pat, what would we do without you? What a clever idea, Sarah. You made the toolboxes into window boxes. Well, it is recycling week, Pat. <laughs> Mum, Dad, we sold all our money boxes too, except for this one. I made it out of your newspaper, so it belongs to you, Dad. Oh, thank you, Julian. Isn't it amazing what you can do with other people's rubbish? <coughs> there we are, the 10.30 collection, bang on time. What a grand day, Jess. There's nothing like a nice, peaceful day in the country. Hiya, Pat! Good morning, Ajay. Goodness me, Ajay can certainly move on that motorbike of his. <laughs> Imagine how quickly I'd get my round done if I went like that. Meow. Glad I caught you, Alf. Your seed catalogue's arrived. Champion! Just in time, too. There's some winter wheat I'm thinking of ordering. I was just saying to Jess what a lovely, peaceful day it is. Morning, Pat. Morning, Alf. Hi, Ted. Ted. By gum, Ted certainly tears around in that lorry of his. Blink and you'd miss him. <laughs> Ted's a busy man. A lorry might be fast, Pat. But not half as good as my old tractor. Up hill or through, more the tractor will never let you down. Oh, I've been meaning to do something about that. Now you mention it, Alf, I wouldn't swap my trusty old post van for anything. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've just had an idea. Why don't we have a race around the village? Then we'd see whose vehicle was the best. What do you say, Alf? Count me in, Pat. And so we're going to have a race. Julian says Ajay is sure to win on his motorbike. But, Pat, being a good driver is more than just going fast. Drivers have to use their heads as well as their accelerators. Meow. Mm, that's very true. So why didn't you have some tests along the way to find out who knows the rules of the road? That's a great idea. I'll get all the children to help. We'll invent questions and the drivers will have to stop and answer them along the way. Then we'll see who really is the best driver. Hey, this is going to be quite an event. Ladies, 
Gentlemen and children, welcome to the Great Greendale Race. Our contestants are Alf Thompson, Pat and Jess, Ajay Baines, Ted Glenn, and PC Selby. I hope my dad wins. And that, he doesn't stand a chance against my dad's motorbike. Ready? Set. Go! And they're off. Ajay takes an early lead with Alf close behind him. Then comes Pat and... Oh, dear. Where's PC Selby? One should never ride a vehicle unless it's in a roadworthy condition. Oh, Dad! Hurry! How are we supposed to catch up with Adji when we can't get past your tractor? Sorry, Ted. There's no I can do about it. There. Now I'm ready to proceed. See you later, Lucy. Go, Dad. Go! And PC Selby joins the race. Yeah. But yes, it looks like Adji is already at the first test stop. Oh, well done, Adji. You're in the lead. Now, for this test, the children have made up some road signs. You have to tell us what they mean. What's this one, Adjie? Ah, now, I know all these. That one means keep left. That looks like tunnel ahead. What about the one with the car? I made that. You've done a champion job. How long did that take you? Now then, Adjie, if you chatter with my bill, you lose all your lead in the race. Oh, dear. So I will. Sorry, Bill. That sign of yours means slippery road. And the last one means look out for the falling rocks. Well done, Ajay. Here come the others. See you later. supposed to be a signpost showing us the way. Hmm. Ah, I think we'd better take this road, Alf. Nay, nee, I think that's wrong. I'm going this way. to nothing but a rubbish dump. <laughs> I ended up at a lake. I think we both took the wrong turning. Hmm. Well, it has to be this road, then. Come on, Alf, there's no time to lose. What's happening, Mr Pringle? What can you see? Well, Adji is in the lead. Uh, oh! oh! Sorry, Adji is in the lead. I've just spotted him up on Garner Bridge. My dad's in the lead. Then it's Ted with Pat and Alf close behind. You left out my dad. Ah, there he is, Lucy, just coming up the first test. My dad's last. Come on, Mr Glenn. We're waiting to give you the second test. Hello, you two. How am I doing? Second place. Now, this is the test, Mr Glenn. We are traffic lights. <laughs> you look more like the twins to me. We're playing at traffic lights. When we hold up a coloured bar, you have to say what that colour means on a traffic light. <laughs> now, this is a good game. Go on, then. Green. 
Green means go. Red. Red means stop. Orange. Oh, now, that still means stop, Katie, but you can expect the lights to change any minute. Hooray! You got it right, Mr Glenn. Here, let me have a look at those balls. I used to be a bit of a juggler, you know. Watch this. Hey, how's that then? Look at that. Whoopee. There we go. Hey, hey, I've still got the old magic, you know. Oops. I've lost one of the traffic lights in that old bramble bush. Hang on, I'll get it back in a jiffy. Ouch! Now then, what's going on here, Ted? I pricked me thumb on that bramble bush. Very tricky characters, bramble bushes. Approach with caution. If you take your test now, PC Selby, you won't be last anymore. Never mind me, I'll be ready to carry on the race when I've got these prickles out. Well then, let's have it. Well, I seem to have left Pat behind somewhere. So I must be doing well. <laughs> Not bad for an old tractor. Oh, dear Daisy. Got lost, have you? We can't have you wandering all over the road, can we? Come on, I'd better get you back in your field. Shoo, 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 come on. This way. Ooh, come on, shoo. What's going on? I'm just putting these sheep back where they belong. Somebody left the gate open by mistake. Never mind me, Pat. You go on and try and catch Ajay. Right, oh, Alf. See you later. Bye, Pat. And the exciting news is that Pat has now moved up into second place. I can just see his van winding its way down by Intake Farm. Hooray! Come on, Pat. Come on, Dad. You can do it. Hello, Dr. Gilbertson. I expect you've got a test for me. Yes, Pat. A driver must have good eyesight. Now, Sarah has painted a picture for you to look at, and you must tell her what it is. Oh, sounds easy to me. Except that I'm all the way over here. Uh, mm, yes, well, uh, uh, it looks a bit like a, a teddy bear. No, uh, it might be a dog, I suppose. Look hard, Pat. Hmm. <coughs> All right, Jess. I'll get it in a minute. Um, hang on. It's Jess. Well done, Pat. Lovely picture, Sarah. Can we put it up in the post office when this is over? Course you can, Pat. Come on, Jess. No time to lose. Good luck, Pat. Bye. Now, don't get too excited, Jess. Ajay is probably miles ahead of us by now on that super motorbike of his. <coughs> Hold on a minute. What's this? Oh. <sighs> Ajay, what's up? I've run out of petrol. Oh, dear. I should have filled her up before the race, but I thought I had enough. We're near the winning line now, you know. Oh, yes, I know. Go on, Pat. Round that corner and you won the race. Do you know what? I reckon I've got a can of petrol in the back of my van. Have you? It's in there somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. But, Pat, the race! I'll have you up and running in a jiffy. Now then, where's that can? Oh, dear. It's BC right. Selby! Afternoon, all. What's happening here, Pat? Ajay's run out of fuel. And Pat's stopped to help me. Don't worry about us, Arthur. You carry on. If you're sure, Pat, I'll be on my way. Present the first Greendale Cup to the winner. Come on up. 
P.C. Selby. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. I'm delighted that old-fashioned pedal power has won the day. Thank you, Reverend. Most honoured. And now, a special prize for Pat. Oh, for stopping to help Ajay and losing the chance of winning the race, here's one of Mrs. Pottage's famous homemade apple pies. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Well done, Pat. Thank you very much. Now, anyone for apple pie? Yes, please. And can you make sure you come last next year, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> What's that you're making, Julian? It's a kite. For the kite festival later. What do you think of it? Hey, it's a real smasher. Do you know, I used to love flying a kite. Why don't you come, Dad? It'll be great. <laughs> Sorry, Julian, I can't. I've got a busy day. No time for flying kites. It doesn't look much like kite flying weather. There's not a breath of wind out there. Well, wind or no wind, the post won't deliver itself. I'd best be off. OK. Goodbye, Pat. Cheerio, Sarah. Bye, Julian. Come on, Jess. Time for work. Yeah. Oh, Jess! Mum, look what he's done. It's ruined now. Never mind, love. There's still enough time to make a new kite. Hmm. Perhaps Charlie can help. <laughs> Whoa! That was close, Jess. That wind's really picking up. Oh, morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs Goggins. What a funny day this is. The weather doesn't seem to know what to do. Well, I hope it stays fine. Ajay's done a lot of work organising this kite festival. Um, I'm a judge, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a grand job, Mrs Goggins. Oh, <laughs> Pat. Fifty. I. Oh. Two hundred and twenty-five wide. Charlie, what are you doing? I'm working out the aerodynamics. Oh, I see. Well, mine's a special Pencaster United kite. Look. Hmm. Hello, Ajay. Hello. Thought I'd better give her a polish. I've been neglecting her while I've been busy with the festival. Dad, Dad, I finished my kite. Oh, what's that noise? Are you whistling, Dad? No, it's not me, Mira. <laughs> no me. Well, where's it coming from then? Listen. <laughs> a singing steam engine. Who would have thought it? I didn't know the wind could make things sing. Aye. It's just like blowing across the top of a bottle. The wind can make all sorts of sounds. And when you get that pretty kite up into the air, you'll see what else it can do. Hmm. Maybe my kite could sing too. Here you are, Ajay. Thanks, Pat. Perfect weather for the kite festival, hey? Thank goodness that wind picked up. Aye. <laughs> Cheerio. This kite should be perfectly aerodynamic. You see, when the wind comes up like this, the angle and the wind speed should push it up even higher. Um, and then, uh, and then when... Shall we give it a go, then? Oh, yeah, OK. Looks like we've got a parcel for Ted. <laughs> I wonder what he's been ordering this time. Meow. What? Just the man I've been waiting for. Here, I'll give you a hand. 
My, you have been busy, Ted. That's a grand kite. Aye, and this parcel will be the final touch. That's the best tail I've ever seen. Aye, she's a beauty, all right. Whoa! Oh, no! Don't worry, Pat. We'll catch it. This will never work. It's oh. too... Told you it would. Wow! Look at it go! Isn't it amazing? Ah, uh, yeah. It's flying really well, but doesn't it look a bit boring? Boring? There's more to a kite than looks, you know. Why don't we give my kite a go? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Oh, my heck. Get it, Ted. Phew. Almost lost it that time. Thanks for helping me catch it, Ted. No problem. <coughs> Jess? Where are you? <coughs> Jess! <coughs> Boy, heck, it works. <coughs> Quick, Ted. Follow that kite. It's, it's going to work. Of course it will. You just have to run faster. <sighs> OK. Let go. Now. Oh. Wow, look. It can do tricks. Oh, maybe not. Quick, Pat. He's heading for the church. Oh, no. Not the weather vane. That was a close call. By gum, he's off again. OK. So what we need is a kite that looks good, can do tricks and stay up in the air. How do we find a kite like that? Um, maybe we could join our kites together. Brilliant! <coughs> Get it, Ted. Oh, my heck. Don't worry, Jess. We'll catch you. Hello, and welcome to Greendale's very first kite festival. We've got some brilliant kites here. So, best of luck and happy flying, everyone. Hooray! Yay! Yay! to be the best kite ever. Definitely. Oh, 
Oh, no. Where did he go? Oh, dear. We'll never find him amongst all these. What a turnout, Mrs. Goggins. This is very impressive. It is indeed. Oh, my word. Look at that one. It's beautiful. Ooh. Ah! Oh. Excellent. That kite looks a bit like... It can't be. Jess, hold on tight. <gasps> <gasps> Jess! Quick! Somebody do something! Watch out, Jess! Oh, no! Poor Jess! What can we do, Dad? Uh, hmm. I know. Can you do more kite tricks like that? I, I think so. Then I think we might be able to bring Jess back down to Earth. Can you make more loop-the-loops? OK. Come on, Charlie. Okay, come on, come on, Charlie. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, good show. Okay, everyone, take the strain. Ready? One, two, three, pull. One, two, three. One, two, three, pull! Oh, welcome back, Jess. Yes! everyone for coming along to Greendale's first kite festival. All the kites have been fantastic and I'm sure you can't wait to see who has won one of these wonderful prizes. So, without further ado, let me hand you over to our judges, Reverend Timms and Mrs Coggins. Thank you, Ajay. The prize for the prettiest and most musical kite is awarded to... Mira. Hooray! 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 Next, we have the prize for the kite with the best flying skills. And it's awarded to Charlie and Julian. Hooray! 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 And our final special prize goes to the bravest kite. Yes. Yay! Yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jess will be keeping his feet firmly on the ground from now on. Is there a letter?